Today you'll be working on your grid drawing. You will need to have a ruler. There are all different kinds of rulers, wooden rulers, metal rulers, plastic rulers, bendy rulers. So you'll need a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser. This is the process that you're going to use in my class while you're making your grid drawing. It is very easy and simple to do. You want to take your ruler and you want to put the end of your ruler on the end of your paper. I make it very easy for this to do this way. You don't have to find the zero on the ruler because they're different all over the place. So the end of the ruler goes at the edge of the paper, right? Edge of the paper, edge of the ruler. Then you're going to make one vertical line over every single inch. Three inch, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we ran out of room. That's okay. This picture is landscape, which means it's side to side. You may have a picture that will look like this, which is portrait, which is up and down. It's the same type of thing. The ruler edge will go on the edge of the paper. The ruler edge will go on the edge of the paper. And you'll make a vertical line. Do not make a horizontal line that goes side to side. Do not make a dot or a circle make a vertical line. You might find it easier if you actually stand at your workspace. This way you're directly over your ruler. Now, my picture is going to stay put. I'm going to drag my ruler down, put the edge, side edge of the ruler on the side edge of the paper, and then I'm going to make my marks again. On the one, two, three inch, four inch, five inch. It's okay if you mark dark. Here I have to mark really dark. Only mark dark on your photograph. Never on a blank piece of paper. So now you have all these one inch lines going across and you never turned or flipped paper or ruler. You only drug it down and put it in the same spot. This is very important. Now you're going to take your ruler and you're going to line up this one inch line with this one inch line because we found that on the number one. Hold your ruler in the middle then draw a line connecting both. So now you have a line going all the way down. You can draw these nice and dark if you want to. It actually will help you out. So this is where our one was, this is where our one was, remember? Now here's where our two is, and here's where our two is. So you're going to take the ruler, line up both lines. Sometimes you might find it easier if you're standing over your artwork. Hold it in the middle so it doesn't move. And then draw a nice dark line. Remember, only dark lines on pictures. So you're going to do all this all the way across. Then you're going to take your paper, your picture, then now it's okay to turn your drawing and now you're going to go the other way. Put the edge of the ruler on the edge of the paper and make a one inch mark on the one, a vertical, a vertical, up and down, vertical, like a pole, up and down, vertical. And I keep saying vertical over and over because a lot of students make horizontals and a lot of students make dots or circles. You're going to drag your ruler down, put the edge of your ruler on the edge of your paper. One, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six, seven, and then eight. And then you're going to line up, see how this is a small space? It's small down here and small down here. So you want it to be even. You're going to line up this one inch mark with this one inch mark. Line up those vertical lines. Hold the ruler in the middle. And draw that vertical line up.
then you're going to go all the way across. And so you're going to wind up with a pitcher that looks a lot like this. Now, I laminated this, so this way you can see it as an example in class. But now we have a grid where we have one inch marks all the way across. Line them up to make the nice dark lines. Right? One inch all the way across. This is different. One inch all the way across. Remember that one's different. You ran out of time. I ran a room. Line them all up. And then as you can see, I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. One, two, three, and so on. You may have a different number than me, but now you have your grid. So nice dark lines for your grid. Set that aside. All right? Then what's going to happen is you're going to take a blank piece of paper and you are going to make the same type of grid marks, but this time, look how light the lines are. The lines need to be really light because you're going to start to erase all the grid.